whenever whatever that we hear about Pakistan from India is the fact that you hear about terror, hear about other things, you know. But when when I reached Pakistan, once I lived there, I I understood that you know you have different Pakistans within Pakistan. Actually, Pakistani journalists are very bold and yes. doubting compared mm. to the tribe in India. Uh, they have uh, for I don't know how many years now been struggling against dictatorships, against uh, uh, extra constitutional forces. I think it is in our interest and, in, and, our, and to our benefit as Pakistanis to get views from India by Pakistanis of Pakistanis in India. So you have different pockets of Pakistan. So it, your perception of Pakistan depends on actually whom you interact with. So if you interact with a particular section and then you interact with a different section, the perception changes dramat dramatically. Intelligence agencies and journalists use each other throughout the world since many years. But there are certain limits, there are certain boundaries which are to be respected, which are not to be violated at any cost. Uh, the foremost, the most important is the sanctity of human life. Uh, of course, journalists are treading a very, very difficult line uh, here because they know that on the one hand there is the establishment and on the other uh, there are the extremists. You can't really say that it's just dangerous for journalists. Right. I believe it has, it has a lot to do with the, uh, uh, you know, with the spirit of ter terrorism that we have been assaulted assaulted by the last few years i think it has a lot to do with that too there are two kind of groups who are primarily targeting journalists uh, one security establishment and two uh, militants and i right. focus right. rather on the religious militants a number of journalists yeah. in pakistan have been attacked yes. and the primary reason for the attack on them has been that they have been reporting in terms of mobility yes islamabad we were limited there as the snesh has already told you we weren't allowed to go yes. anywhere else. Anywhere outside so within Islamabad, Islamabad yes. yes, I did go to some of the far-flung sectors and stuff for stories. And uh, I didn't uh, feel at all uncomfortable or unwelcome anywhere. Dangerous thing to report about, perhaps in order of, uh, if, you, if you're going to rate it, is militancy. Hmm. Uh, and when you're reporting on militancy, it's never just that you're going to be uh, under threat from the militants, but because there is a nexus of militants with, let's say, um, other organizations. If I was based in Islamabad right now, I would have been a different stage. You know, probably I would have been more guarded in my response. You know, I would have thought about what I was exactly. Nina and Smehesh were uh, sent home because they were doing some really good reporting from Pakistan. Uh, you know, which is which is to which was actually to Pakistan's benefit because both of these journalists are very uh, seasoned journalists. They are open-minded journalists. I, they are not bigoted. They are not quote-unquote hyper-nationalist or anything like that. And I must say that there, the two leaderships have to sit down and sort this out. Right. You don't. You can't hold up journalists in Islamabad. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had invited the uh, Pak, all the SAC countries, hmm. including the uh, Pakistan Prime Minister, to visit him. It took him more than 48 hours to decide. And eventually, it was the Pakistani media which had reported that it was eventually after Mr. Shabaz Sharif met the army chief and uh, that a uh, final decision was taken. Social media now, uh, everybody is a journalist. Everybody has a partner's opinion. And uh, this, this uh, message can be really amplified if people really uh, put the uh, you know join hands and forget about political um, affiliations and work for the single cause of uh, freedom of opinion. I completely agree that there there should be. I mean, this is uh, stupidity. I mean, I was I was agreeing with what uh, Vinod sir said that there should be no no go areas for uh, the journalists, especially for the South Asian journalists and the journalists from India and Pakistan should be. Uh, free to uh, go where they think they need to go to report without any biases. I'm all for it. The problem today in Pakistan is sadly that the parts of the media are themselves helping those that do not want freedom of the expression in laying the minefield. They must let journalists move. There should not be any boundaries for journalists in South Asia. There should be no no-go zones. The South Asia Free Media Association stands for that, right. has been struggling for it for it's, over a decade now. And we have to keep raising a voice for each other and for each other's freedoms, whether it is Pakistanis in, uh, right. you know, getting Pakistani journalists in India or getting Indian journalists in Pakistan. Great, yeah.